I recently got a comment on my YouTube channel that hey Mukesh, I have joined one company as automation test engineer, but I have got only manual testing. What should I do next? Should I resign? Should I switch? Or what should be my next step? Hey, hi everyone. My name is Mukesh Twani from LearnHyperOption.com, and this video will going to talk about how to handle this kind of situation. Let's talk about the current situation. You have been hired for automation, but now you're doing manual testing. So in this case, first of all, do not make quick decisions. I have seen many people in the past, what they did, they immediately find out that yes, this is not what the work they will be doing and they have resigned immediately and they started looking for another job. This is totally a wrong approach. So whenever you are in this situation, always assess the current situation, why it is happening. Okay. Initially three to six months, you should not make a quick decision. Understand first of all, what company is doing, what kind of product they have, what kind of services they deliver what kind of customers they have, what kind of task you will be doing for the next three to six months. Generally, it's not the case that the moment you join a company, they will be giving you automation tasks. Initial three to six months, you should always understand the current process. Then you can think of automation. If from day one, you're getting automation, it's good. But even if you're not getting automation, at least wait for three to six months. Then if the same process is getting followed, then you can immediately check what is the current situation. Is it just the for the temporary or maybe they do not have enough automation project or maybe few projects are coming in future. So once the project will be coming, then you will be deployed. Okay, because whenever we hire any resource, we don't hire only for the current requirement. Maybe a couple of projects are in pipeline and we might use these resources for the future projects. So first of all, you need to understand it's not always immediate. Sometimes you need to wait for three to six months or maybe one year. But after that, also, if the situation is not getting corrected, then what should be the next step? Now, suppose the situation is running same for the almost one year. It's time to talk to your manager. Now that one year is not fixed, maybe after six months you can discuss, but generally six to 12 months you can wait. But if the same situation is getting continued, then talk to the manager. Generally, we have one to one meetings sometimes every month, sometimes quarterly, sometimes once in a year. But in this situation, you can set up a meeting with manager that, hey, I want to discuss something very important, which is related to my future goals and the current role that I'm serving. I need to have one to one meeting in that meeting. Be very open and tell what exactly the task you're doing, what exactly your skill set, what is your future goals. So let's say you are planning to become automation test architect. But the task that you are doing right now or the task which has been assigned to you, it's somehow not fitting into that future goals. In that case, you can mention these are my skill set. This is what I have done in my past company and I want to do the similar stuff or in this area so that you will not be only doing the manual testing for the next few years. This will be your roadmap and clearly tell them this is your roadmap for the next three years, five years or 10 years so that manager also have the clear understanding. What is your expectation from them? Many people, they do not stick to a particular company because they don't find any enough opportunity in future. So always discuss with the manager. Definitely you will come up with some options and then you can proceed further. Now, once you propose the solution, once you have this meeting, right, always wait for the response. Okay. Don't uh, put so many things in one go. Take it slowly. Understand the current situation. Talk to them, get the responses. If you are not getting enough response, then you can propose certain solutions. When I say propose solutions, you need to come up with the ideas that this is the part we are doing manual. And if you automate this, we can save so much of time. We can save so much of human effort, which we can use for some other productive tasks. Show them the importance of automation and how you are going to do that. Also come up with a plan. So you can propose that we can do this part manual, this part automation, or maybe you can discuss with them. These are the areas where I can find, I can improve the process with the help of automation. Do not only focus on web API. Okay. Try to come up with an automation process completely and then propose. You can also propose that this is what my skill set in future. If you get this kind of projects, then I will be interested. So show your complete interest. What kind of task you can do? What kind of values you can add to that organization if they will consider you as an automation resource? The next part is follow up. Okay. Sometimes manager does not respond immediately. Maybe they have so many things in the plate. They might miss many points. So always have a follow up, follow up after one month, maybe three months so that they will understand this is your priority. So sometimes when you do this meeting after one year, again, you will do ask the same thing. It's not going to help. So whatever proposals you have given, whatever the discussion happened in the past, make a note, always do the follow up. If the follow up also is not getting proper response, 
then definitely you can find the next step which is IJP okay so IJP is internal job posting every company have a multiple teams multiple automation teams automation is not happening only at the functional level maybe you have another team which is working working on the non-functional so maybe you can build the skill set and try for uh, non-functional automation team as well and you can see how it is happening even if you're not getting IGP maybe you can check with other teams how you can help them how you can contribute with them okay you can have certain proposals and submit to them have a discussion and if you're getting some part from the current team and if you're able to contribute to the different team it's a very good approach I've seen many people have done this kind of activities and they deploy to the separate team after some time you can also come up with a separate training opportunities maybe you are good at something but you can you're not able to implement in your current project but you can educate other team members maybe the other teams who are working on certain tools you can educate them always go for the training as well now after doing all of this also if nothing is happening then what you can do one option is you keep doing things separately when i say things separately nobody will stop you to automate anything maybe you have an interest and now you don't want to lose the grip on a specific tool or technology start automating parallelly so that you will always have a grip and when you do the next switch you can easily explain them how you have done that but many times if you don't get options instead of resigning always try to find alternatives there are always alternative solutions for everything so try to find alternatives maybe you can find some online communities where you can help other open source projects or other pro uh, people who are working on this kind of tools and they're facing a lot of issues stack overflow start communicating on the linkedin other youtube channels connect with them and ask for how you can help them right so that you will not lose the grip now after all of this also if you think that you are uh, not right fit for this organization or the team maybe you can plan for a switch because ultimately you have to take a final call but these are my personal opinions that before thinking of resigning or switching to the different companies try all the alternatives that i proposed if nothing works out then you have a choice that you want to stay in the same company same team and you can continue with the learning separately that is also a good approach and in case if you want to work purely on the automation team maybe you can find uh, another job opportunity but what if the same thing happened in the next company right you might fall into the same trap so try all the suggestions and if something works for you let me know in the comment section if you have any other recommendation or suggestions for this that also let me know in the comment section and I will try my best to uh, address them or cover them in the next video. That's all from my side. If you think this video is helpful, please share with your friends, colleague, subscribe to this channel and I will see you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.